We will not stop being a strong voice in support of law enforcement, in support of victims, and in supporting the reversing of the dangerous slap on the wrist crime policies from our colleagues across the aisle. And no matter what the Democrat, our, no matter what our Democrat colleagues and the governor say, it is an absolute fact that crime is, is rising across our state and throughout our communities. I'm the wife of a police officer and the proud mother of a police officer. So this is an issue that is truly personal to me because I know the challenges and the dangers they face on a daily basis. I'm proud to be joined by members of law enforcement from my own community. So thank you to the Suffolk County PBAs for joining us. <laughs> Nassau County, I think, got stuck in the snow, but we thank them for their efforts as well. And you should know that we stand, uh, thank you for standing with us today, and know that we will always stand up with you and for your interests. And we all thank, and thank you and appreciate what you do, but you, we know that you need more than that from us. You need action. Action to make sure you can continue to do your job safely and effectively. Action to provide you the tools and resources to ensure you're able to get the most dangerous criminals off our streets. These conferences standing here today are serious about public safety and are committed to supporting our law enforcement officials. Unfortunately, our colleagues in the majorities continue to champion slap on the wrist crime policies that put all New Yorkers at risk and make the jobs of law enforcement more difficult than they already are. A safer New York is a main component of the Senate Republican Rescue New York plan, a plan filled with common sense proposals based on the concerns we heard straight from our constituents to make our state safer, stronger, more affordable, and more free. In communities all throughout the state, murder is up, illegal crime, uh, gun crime is up, hate crimes are up, and when crimes increase, so does the number of victims. It's clear that our colleagues put the interests of criminals over the rights of victims, and we're here today to say enough is enough. We stand with victims, and it's time that our colleagues do as well. We've been beating the drum about these disastrous policies, bail reform, discovery reform, halt, since they were first passed, but our calls for change have been ignored, they've been downplayed, and they've been mocked by the people who passed them. Even as crime goes up and we, and we are seeing more victims than ever, the majorities of the legislature continue to double down on their slap of the wrist crime policies like Clean Slate and so many others that will continue the dangerous trajectory that we're on. Now is the time. We are here to demand that the Democrat majorities make public safety a priority. We, need, we stand with law enforcement as they do their dangerous jobs to protect us. We stand with victims and law-abiding New Yorkers. We need to end the dangerous reforms that have made our criminal justice system a revolving door. It's time to restore common sense and public safety and rescue New York. <laughs>